it's uh, 20 years ago that uh, exactly that uh, I was first elected to the board. It was then the Australian Olympic Federation. It was a federation made up primarily of the state uh, Olympic councils, and uh, and that was somewhat contrary to the IOC charter at, at the time, and it was one of the objectives of the new board uh, to change that, to bring it into line with the charter. But things were very different in terms of all sorts of, of areas. Uh, for example, the first official meeting that I went to, it was uh, to determine a doping offence uh, that had been alleged, but we had no doping policy. Um, the first uh, committee uh, that I was involved with uh, what was what was called the Justification Commission, and that was a group who determined who was put onto the various Olympic teams. There was no selection criteria for the athletes to follow. Um, there was no medal reward scheme uh, for the athletes or for the coaches. Um, and within uh, the teams, uh, there was limited medical uh, servicing. Uh, there was no athlete support um, uh, directly. Uh, there was no media support in terms of the media liaison officers. So over the years, that it's been a, a fairly constant development process to put into place uh, things like objective criteria for the athletes so that they knew exactly what they needed to do uh, to qualify for an Olympic team and they could appeal if they weren't selected or nominated. And, um, and that, that was a very big change to the way that things were done uh, in years before that. Uh, in terms of the Justification Commission, one of the early things that, that we did was to say, well, you needed to be, for various sports, top 16, top 12, top 6 in the way of rowing in the world to qualify for an Olympic team. And that was uh, subsequently broadened to uh, enable a, a bigger representation when uh, we became financially able to do that. Mm -hmm.